New survey, 70% of young Scottish adults have no religion. This is a quick, very interesting news. A study sponsored by the Humanist Society of Scotland revealed um, that among 1,002 adult participants, only 33% consider themselves Christian. That is one in three Scots consider themselves Christian. In 2011, the number was 53%. So a majority to now a vast minority. The survey was conducted by YouGov, an international research data and analytics group. 56% of the respondents chose none in response to the religious denomination. In 2011, only 42% responded none to a similar question. Fraser Sutherland, chief executive of the Humanist Society of Scotland, stated that the recent findings reveal that the biggest denomination shift we will see in 2022 will be on religious identity. Sutherland emphasized the importance of answering religious demographic questions in the national census with honesty and on the basis of current belief, as opposed to cultural affiliation, because the results can be used to justify policies such as, quote, compulsory religious observance in Scottish schools. So talk, like, let's just break down this shift for a second. In 50, and no, in 2011, the number of Christians was 53%, so a majority. Then now in 2022, the respond 56% of respondents chose none in response to their religious affiliation. Seventy percent. Seventy percent of, of yeah. Scottish adults between the ages of eighteen to twenty-four. So this is the future. This is the future. And and wait another hundred years, the next generation is going to be even higher. This is like, guys, this is the end of religion. I'm telling you, this is the end of religion. Susanna, isn't this your people? It is my people. <laughs> <laughs> the sound Where's of bagpipes pipe? rises yeah. in the background. <laughs> can you do a Scottish accent? No, I can't. No, I can only say okay. like brogue, but it's not even good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The motherland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, by the way, we're joking. We're not collectivists. If you, yeah. Um, okay. So why is, do we know why Scott, Scott, you know, Scottish adults, like what is the effect? So we could replicate it in other places. Oh, that's a good question. You know, it didn't really dig into, um, you know, any causalities. Um, what I thought was really interesting is that according to, um, uh, there were many other aspects to the survey, but one of them was that now the majority of um, marriages in Scotland are humanist marriages. They're not even religiously affiliated marriages, marriage ceremonies. Hey, Daniel is insulting your people and his own people. <laughs> Say, we're rubbish at most things, but this... <laughs> Mm. Um, okay, read this one. Read this one. Susanna, the Celtic beauty. An atheist is saying, atheist on YouTube is saying, I thought Susanna was Irish, not Scottish ancestry. Por que no los dos? I'm both, and a lot of other why stuff too. Why in Spanish? That's 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 going to confuse even more people. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but wait, are you uh, more Irish or more Scottish? More Scottish. Okay. Can you do an Irish accent? No. <laughs> no? What is the accent that you do then? There's an accent that you do that's pretty good. You like oh, my southern a, accent. Southern accent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mustafa. Mustafa. <laughs> I love everyone making Scottish jokes about me. One thing that was, was really interesting to me was this survey also looked at the beliefs of Christians. So a minority of Christians actually believe according to the survey, that Jesus was actually a real person. So um, only 28% of those who said that they were Christian said that they, quote, believed that Jesus was a real person who died and came back and was the son of God. So a minority of those who self-identify as Christians actually wow. believe that Jesus died and came back to life and was the son of Sorry. God. So you're telling me that even their Christians are not Christian. They're not very Christian at all. 
The only nut 18%, will not... only 18 percent attend church services. Wait, how, what percentage of their Christians say that they believe that Jesus is God? What percentage? Only 28 percent said that they believe that Jesus was a real person who died and came back to life and was the Son of God. Okay. Um, and that's from the same age group, right? From the dimension. No, that, the, was, overall. The... that overall. was overall. Overall. Okay. So 28% of the 30% is only 8%. Okay. So that means that we have um 22 Holy cow, you're plus right that's 17. crazy <laughs> so the actual the actual percentage of young adults with no that are not christian is 92 not 70. wow so it's so wild yeah yeah if and you, if, the, if you consider the actual definition of what it means to be christian those christians are not actually christian so it's not 70 it's 92. What's interesting is that in the survey, when the same set of people are asked, are you religious? A whopping 75% said, no, I am not. So that includes no. even those who say that I'm a Christian. When they say, are you religious? They say, no, I'm not religious. So just nominal so Christians, that cultural leaves, Christians. Yeah, the, the authors of this survey or the people who put it out are discussing how this really gives us a sense that this is just a cultural identity. And apparently yeah. Scotland has the national census that is coming up. And there's that's why yeah. they're emphasizing. Nice. Talk about how you what you currently believe, not how you right. were raised, not oh I do Christmas or what's Easter your culture, fun. where do you go to yeah, church? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Th they use the demographics of who claims to be Christian to set compulsory religious education in Scotland or to give right. money you know, to the Church of Scotland to fund these institutions, Ooh, to grant them power. This is going to dry up their funding. Yeah, you can't keep getting funding because some people are culturally Christian and don't believe in Jesus. That shouldn't, you shouldn't get, you know, that should like re get removed. Yeah. So good, good, good. The churches will lose all their funding. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, I mean, should, does a, does a ta church tax come from people's pocket, from people who claim that they're Christian? Or is it just from everybody? I, I don't know how the t that works in Scotland, but if it's anything t similar to the UK, I mean, no, wait, no, wait, I, Scotland is part of the UK. Um, then if it's similar to England itself, then okay. yeah, it's just like all general taxpayer money. So oxymoron is saying, do you actually have to be, uh, believe in Jesus to be Christian? Yes. Yes. It's the because... definition. Only <laughs> those who find salvation, only those who believe in the power of Jesus Christ will find salvation and be granted access to heaven. Yeah. It's, I mean, you could say the one say, thing. Like, yeah. It's the one thing. If you remove that part from the definition of a Christian, then, you know, I'm a Christian as well because I put up a Christmas tree tree sometimes right like what is i have been to churches sometimes just check it out like i mean if you remove if i i, I do understand that you don't want to be very um narrow with your definition to exclude a whole bunch of people from christianity but if you make it so broad that it doesn't even have a border then the word becomes meaningless if anything if the word could mean anything then it means nothing right so there needs to be i we want the borders to be broad but belief in jesus i think is the least thing you could ask for the for it to be part of the definition of christian somebody being christian because if that is not it then what it would be the definition of a christian right yeah it so i mean okay as a catholic and granted you know in scotland Excellent. they have the church of scotland they're more presbyterian um here's like my definition that i was taught as a to be a christian I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, or I was about seen and unseen. They changed the language. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. And then you have to believe in the resurrection. That is, that is like the criteria, is you have to believe in the resurrection of Christ. Mm. By the way, we have our Christian fan, Bread of Life in the live chat, confirming that we are correct. Um, he or she <laughs> says, yes, yes, I would say it's a baseline. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> definitional. So yeah, we get it. We got confirmation from a Christian in the live chat that this we are correct about this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. 
Oh. Wow, Susanna has Nicene Creed memorized. Yeah, I went to Catholic school. I had to memorize the entire creed to be able to pass the fourth grade. I still remember, like, I have never cried so hard as the stress I experienced from having to memorize the Nicene Creed. And that's why I'm so jealous of Muslims because the Shahada is so freaking short. The Shahada is so short. Your creed is so short. So you, to be, you know, your, your proclamation of faith is just like, oh, it's, it's like no. two sentences. Shh, 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 the Nicene shh, shh, Creed is like shush. Wait. a full you have to two memorize paragraphs. two paragraphs. Oh, we have to memorize at least two surahs in the Quran just to be able to pray five times a day. So you That's need to true. know the hamd and another surah. Which That's to pray. People... That's not the proclamation of faith. Still, like, well, you don't have to do that. Okay, so that creed, you don't need that to be a Christian. So that it's not comparable. Technically, the shahadat would be comparable to just saying, I accept Jesus. So no. I accept Jesus as my... It's comparable yeah, because, to the Nicene Creed. No, because you don't have to see the Nicene Creed to be a Christian. If to be you don't a Catholic, say, yes. If you don't say it, you wouldn't be accepted in the kingdom of heaven if you don't say those words? No, but it outlines the criteria. I know, but it's not necessary to say that for you to be accepted by Jesus. So the Shahadat is actually longer than what Christian has to testify, which is like, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. You also need the Nicene Creed to pray because they say it in mass all the time. Okay, but that would be comparable to Muslims having to pray, which would then they have ah, to remember the, okay. the, okay, okay, the okay, Surah okay. Fatiha and also another Surah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So don't, okay, so don't try to be like, oh, we, ha we had a tough bull crap. Okay, we had a tougher, okay? <laughs> we got a $10 This chat. isn't a competition. <laughs> it is a competition. It is a competition, and I won. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secular Sakai gave us a $9.99 super chat. I like it because it's 69 upside down. Not 69, 666. <laughs> oh, I didn't know where Susanna's mind goes. Freudian slip. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> Anyways, thank you for the super chat. Saying, Viva la Republica Atia with the Atheist Republic emojis. Saying, Susanna, translate this to Lalans and Gaelic for us. Uh, I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> what is this? The oxymoron just said something. Uh, oxymoron is talking about Christians. Don't they have something like medical, metaphorical truth or something? I mean, yeah, there's like metaphysics and stuff, um, no. but that's like way more theological and esoteric than probably the lived belief of most Christians. I mean, you know, of course they have metaphorical truth, like Read part of religion. Um, Imran is saying, don't make us insecure about the size of our shots. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like the finger thing. You have to read it like, don't make us insecure about the size of our shots. Like, yeah, you have to read it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.